Here's another idea for you to practice your stories, to internalize them and keep them fresh for you. Try different accents. Now, some people struggle with this because they say, well, I don't know how to do accents. It's okay, just do your best. I'm gonna do two or three here for you as an example. Keep in mind that the examples I'm using are part of my heritage. So I'm not making fun of anyone, I'm paying homage to them. I'm half, uh, half my family is from Indiana, the state of Indiana here in the United States. And a lot of times I have a slower drawl and I'll go through part of my story like that. And then I will change over to French because I was actually born in France. You can't tell from my usual accent, but yes, this is where I'm from. So I can kind of adopt a French accent and go with that practice for a while. This is a fun way to keep it fresh for you, to keep it exciting, and nobody has to see it, unless of course you record it and put it out on YouTube. Put your comments below if you have anything negative to say, or even positive, that's fine. So try this out, have fun with it. Again, this is a way to keep it growing and evolving for you until you don't get stagnant doing it the same old way every time. In the next tip, I'm gonna give you another idea on how to monetize your story.